From today, May 4th being the day of the Fortnite OG Victory Gliders teaser, which was finally revealed, Epic teasing the return of Galactus, and even Fortnite accidentally selling lightsabers in the shop, here's everything you missed in Fortnite's brand new update. Something everyone was expecting since the end of OG Fortnite was a secret date found on top of this high umbrella reading May 4th, 2024. For months, we speculated what it could mean with many theorizing it could be the return of a season OG or something like a massive event happening. Well, it turns out that it's none of the two as it looks like this was simply a teaser for the huge Star Wars update that's dropped in all four modes of Fortnite, making it the first big metaverse collab. There's another day on the umbrella though, June 8th, 2068, so hopefully we'll all still be around to find out what it is then. This is one of the largest cosmetic updates ever, with everything in total costing nearly 21,000 V-Bucks. This is in part due to us being surprised with two bonus characters from Star Wars making their debut. If you thought C-3PO was too robotic to look good as a skin in Fortnite, you're in luck since now he's arrived in the update, but has a back bling tied up. This of course is a reference to him breaking into pieces in Cloud City, and you guessed it, Cloud City's also making its debut as a location in Fortnite. But instead of as a PY, it's just Lando's backbone. And now we have an entire family tree in Fortnite, because Yoda was the second character added, and he's the backbone for Dega Baluk, where he'll creepily laugh and react to your gameplay and traverse the map with you. So now you can use both Baby Yoda and the adult version. In addition, there's Easter eggs like an add ad emote referencing the infamous vehicle from the saga, and if you thought Lando's pickaxe is just another random one, it's actually a staff that he briefly uses in Return of the Jedi. And I'm proud to say that in the new update, lightsabers are finally making their debut in the item shop. Well, kind of. They're present in the form of a rocket racing cosmetic, which literally has lightsaber in the name, which is cool for sure, but it's not what any of us expected. Given this is Epic's biggest collab with Star Wars today, it's pretty disappointing we didn't get any actual lightsaber pickaxes after years of asking, so it might be an indication that we're probably never gonna get lightsabers as Battle Royale pickaxes. Speaking of rocket racing cosmetics, if you head over to the item shop section for it, you can notice a new best Scar car was added and it teases possible new skins. The decal styles for the car showcase actual characters that are from the Star Wars universe, some of which you might already recognize. The Mandalorian and Boba Fett already exist as skins in the game, but the same can't be said for the other characters, such as the Armor, Bo-Katan, or Sabine Wren, so it's possible we'll see Fortnite adding these characters soon. The Star Wars update was huge with cosmetics, new weapons like the Bowcaster, map changes, but also a secret live event. If you head over to LEGO Fortnite when playing for the first time after the new update, you're greeted with a short live event where LEGO Star Wars Destroyer and multiple TIE Fighters are rifted in. And if you were there for the Star Wars event in Chapter 2 Season 1, this must really bring back memories because the two events are actually strikingly similar. This marks the first event in LEGO Fortnite, and given the attention Epic's giving the mode, it's safe to assume that it definitely will be the first of many. What is coming in a few weeks away though is an unexpected Marvel collab featuring the X-Men and Loki. We previously had leaks that Rocket League was getting an X-Men 97 collab, and it could be coming over to Fortnite as well, which is seemingly the case. As many characters we could see, like Cyclops, Magneto, and alongside the X-Men, we'll also be seeing a collab with the MCU Loki, but not the one that we already have in game. This one's actually from his own Marvel TV show, and his shop section is set to feature not one, but two skins, being him and Sylvie. These collabs will be between May 15th and 19th, so keep an eye out for when they're revealed. With the Marvel season on the horizon, we could also witness the return of one of the most popular villains in Fortnite's history. With the update, there were hidden dialogues added that speak of a beast with a growing hunger consuming stars in its path. These hidden lines are speculated to tease the grand return of Marvel's Galactus because the description's super accurate for his character. We already defeated him in one of Epic's most spectacular events to date, so if there's another event happening that involves him, it could end up being an all-timer. Before that though, we'll be witnessing the end of Chapter 5 Season 2 that'll be playing out partially through quests, and we might even have our first look at a Season 3 outfit. There's a leaked quest that require players to destroy Stormforged Hourglasses placed by Zeus, and while we thought it would be massive, seen across the map, it's actually pretty small, just the size of a player. Once destroyed, these voice lines reveal Season 3 to be apocalypse themed, with mentions of Black Skies, War, and a new skin named The Wanderer, who might be a part of the Season 3 Battle Pass. However, right before the end of Season 2, it's confirmed that we'll be getting another mini live event similar to the Titan Hand Rising last season. The codename Super Sport, and it'll have four stages, including an objective that players will have to come together to complete, just like in Season 1, how we had to break Pandora's box. It's also said to have some type of lightning craters found around the map, including a previously leaked lightning storm animation. There's mention of a rift teleporting too, so this could end up being one of the best mini events of all time. Speaking of mini events, Epic tends to hide a lot of things underneath them, with a new skin being a direct reference to that. The Titan's a new skin added in the recent update, and if he looks familiar to you, that's because he is. If you take a close look at the skin's molten hands, you'll realize that this is identical to the Titan hand that we saw rising from under the map last season. Many wanted it to be in skin, and Epic actually delivered with it, also matching the survey version identically. It wouldn't be 
subscribe if you didn't come with the signature backlink. So Pandora's box is now a cosmetic to just in a much smaller scale. Another skin coming soon is Billie Eilish's second outfit. We've had her variant in the festival pass for a few weeks time now, and everyone's wondering where the shop version is. Unfortunately, it's still encrypted, but a new drum set was just added with a red and black color scheme to Billie's set. And this has people theorizing that we could see Billie's second outfit featuring an entirely red or black color scheme, just like in some of her music videos. That wasn't the only change made because Epic decided to pay tribute to one of the oldest beams in Fortnite with a secret Easter egg on its skin. Throughout the years, people mocked Fortnite by calling it a dead game, and so one day Epic referenced this by turning it into a skin called Veronica. Of course, this has to be censored in LEGO Fortnite, so the LEGO variant actually says best game on her shirt, showing Epic's confident in their game now more than ever. And as Epic expands their metaverse, Fall Guys is going to be a part of Fortnite too, this time with its own cosmetics. A new set was added called the Fall Guys set, and we know that there were plans to add the beans as playable characters in Fortnite this summer as part of a mini game in Battle Royale, so this could mean the set is a special new cosmetic type, similar to the cars from Rocket Racing coming over to Battle Royale, or even LEGO. If that's true, then we could be getting customization for Fall Guys characters to use when playing their game, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. What you can expect to come soon too is another wave of Jujutsu Kaisen skins and the long-awaited cup for it since now we have more info. Because of insiders, we know the characters are gonna be Maki, Zenin, and Panda, and this skin who I don't even want to try to butcher being rumored as well. Leaks also indicated Panda would come with a mythic ability, but no additional info. The cup's rumored around May 11th, so whenever the rumors are true or not will be revealed soon since we know Epic has been teasing this cup all along. Another animated collab is the new set of My Hero Academia cosmetics bringing three new skins. It was leaked a while ago that we'd be getting another wave to the collab, bringing villains which fans of the show will definitely recognize. And they are all encrypted, but we do have an image of what they look like and they don't disappoint. What's bound to upset a lot of people though is Epic's announcement on the permanent removal of the beloved playground and creative royale mode. It was the only way to join the battle royale map by yourself for regular players and it also gave you the ability to create small game modes in it. Personally, this is super disappointing because I know tons of other creators would use this mode to make content or make great videos. We can only hope Epic's gonna do something to make it up to us all. Speaking of disappointing decisions, everyone was let down when Aphrodite's Heartbreaker skin was revealed with the last update for Season 2 and it was a blue recolor of her main skin. What's even worse is Epic missed out on the opportunity to make the bonus styles for the god skins like little statue versions of theirs which would have been pretty clever considering it would have also matched their little mini statues seen in Battle Royale. While this was the last update for Season 2, we also happen to know about the last update in Season 3. That's right, because Season 3 is going to be a short season, much like the current one with its final update set to take place around July 23rd with the season itself lasting until the second week of August. It'll likely be filled with lots of teasers and info regarding the Marvel season, which will be happening right after that as leaked. Something else that was leaked is a new encrypted icon email by the name of Ambitious coming out very soon. It was accidentally shown in the newsfeed early with its description reading one step at a time with music from Iz, which may give us a hint towards what the email will actually look like. That's everything you missed in the update. Watch another or subscribe.